A former Stockdale High School girls basketball coach has been charged for multiple felonies accused of having a sexual relationship with a player. We've been following this case since he was first arrested earlier this month and 23 ABC's Eliza Navarro has more on what we're learning from court documents. Eliza. Yes, the Bakersfield Police Department has identified the coach as Keith Lamont Cash. Now we're learning that the alleged victim called Cash with police on the line during this ongoing investigation. A recorded phone call planned by Bakersfield Police between the alleged victim and former high school basketball coach Keith Lamont Cash was one piece of evidence police used to arrest Cash earlier this month. Documents show Cash was almost immediately suspicious of the timing of that phone call, saying, before we go down this road, where is this coming from? Just curious. Adding, right now is not the best time to have this conversation. Cash telling the woman he had recently been accused multiple times on Facebook of taking taking advantage of teenagers and asked her why she was calling, the woman telling him she needed closure. A transcript of the conversation shows the woman asking Cash about their former relationship, which she told police happened when she was 13 and a player on his team. Cash was 21 at the time. The woman asking Cash if he loved her, Cash eventually saying, yes, I wouldn't have risked my career, my life and my livelihood if I didn't. Cash never specifically admitting to a relationship, but saying in that phone call that he can't take anything that happened back, but that he wouldn't have put himself in that situation and that it was a very bad decision. The woman decided to go to police in January of this year when she reportedly began receiving text messages from Cash. According to the document, the victims told... The the police, she wanted to make sure no one else became a victim. When questioned, Cash denied there was ever a relationship between him and the woman. C Cash is out on bail and is set to be on court in August 8th. In studio, Eliza Navarro. All right, Eliza, thanks for that. The development of the largest